how would you recommend somebody to improve in their area of greatness? And would you recommend they focus on that solely rather than other things? That's a wonderful question. I mean, here's one way to think about it, which is how people talk about themselves. And I've, I've sat on interview panels. I've sat in rooms full of lawyers and all sorts of professionals, entrepreneurs. And 80% of people, the mass majority of people, when you ask that question at a party, they, they, what do you do? They honestly give you a basket of skills, a basket of skills. Well, I'm a, a project manager. I'm a coder. I'm a this. I'm a that. The problem with describing yourself as a basket of skills is all skills are commodities. Mm. So what you're saying about yourself, and it's about electrifying other, other people, motivating them, is that I am nothing more than the supermarket trolley and all of the tins in that trolley because those are my skills and that is my value to the world. Now, skills harnessed to craft through years of application is something different because every true great craftsman has harnessed and added something special, their own personality. But most people describe themselves as skills. More sophisticated, you know, executives might be a little bit more sophisticated and talk about themselves as experiences. Mm. I had this experience in leading this team. I was a sales, this, what, that, and the other. But still, the reality is it motivates very few people and it doesn't really motivate you. What is fascinating about people who talk about that greatness, that 2%, is they switch the conversation and say, literally in that first 20 seconds, what drives them? Mm. What drives them? What are the three things that drive you? Imagine meeting someone at a party and you meet someone after 20 seconds and say, you know what drives me is A, B, and C. And you want to hear what they are, even if you disagree with them. And they're in a totally different sector. They're driven by someone. Someone's passion is magnetic. And what drives them? And if you don't believe me, read Nelson Mandela's Long Walk to Freedom. At the very beginning of that book, he literally sitting around an old wooden table. And he said, I am personally driven to change and change this country. He didn't download an app, right? He committed and was driven by that experience. Now, if you really want to supersize this and really go to town, what drives you? Add this layer on. What is the unique value you bring to others? Hmm. So not just what is dri drives you, but what is the unique value you bring to others? And as I said, I've done this with lawyers and other professionals. And most, can, most of them, by the way, have been to similar schools and have similar qualifications. There is some differentiation in terms of experience, criminal lawyers versus contract lawyers, et cetera. But the ones that really are doing exceptionally well knows what drives them. But what is the unique value they bring to others, an organization, a group of people, a clients? Knowing that question helps you identify your unique differentiator, what makes you special, the magic 2%.